As the rain comes down here in Tokyo, so do the blossoms. The white petals hitting the ground in a very unceremonial-like <laughs> end to the cherry blossoms. You can see here we've got maybe a million petals in there all coming from these three trees. As uh, the T Tokyo cherry blossoms come to an end, more or less. That does, does this mean the end of the cherry blossom season? It does pretty much in Tokyo. The first rain and wind after they hit full bloom, spelling doom. But it's not all doom and gloom. You still got an entire country to go and explore. Here's the cherry blossom schedule for those that are coming to Japan right now. Uh, all right, there's Tokyo. Everything in this part of the country probably getting closing, closer to the end than the beginning. Um, this is the 11th update to the schedule. Just goes to show that you cannot count on weather to be perfect for this cherry blossom. See, you, you can't count on, on, on making a trip around it. You just kind of get a little bit lucky too if you're planning six months or three months in advance. Now, if you're planning a week in advance, that's a different story. They started to bloom, I'd say around April 1st for real, and then around uh, the 5th it peaked. And then now it's all gone because the wind and the rain. This is the first wind and rain after that. Um, but not to don't don't despair. All you've got to do is go 100 kilometers north, and you'll have them starting to bloom. And then you go up a 300 kilometers north, or 400 or 500, and you're going to be able to catch it in a month's time. And that's what's really cool about the cherry blossoms. You can catch them up in Hokkaido in a month from now. So there's nothing to really despair, but the entire country right now is quite wet. If you take a look here at the uh, Taki Zakura, this is in Fukushima. I made a video on this, the oldest, one of the oldest cherry blossom trees in Japan. You can see it's a, about 200 kilometers north or more, and it's just starting to bloom, and the wind and rain is not pushing it away. This is the one that you probably want to go and visit if you are coming to Japan, the Taki Zakura uh, of Miharu. Is, is so beautiful and if, if you haven't already seen I made a video on it the 1,000 year history of this tree which is stunning and what it means to the community there but this tree is getting pounded by the wind and the rain as well so no matter where you are in Japan you start to walk around the streets and you see this which are the petals on the ground um, you know what are you gonna do and in the river and in the, the lakes and the moats and the waterways it's the end of it today's weather looks like this Check it out. So it's not pretty and there's more coming. But it, you know, it should, I think it'll clear out around 4 p.m. today, but the damage has been done. Anything that was hanging on is pretty much done. Only the, uh, only the late bloomers are still gonna be around on the trees. And there are late bloomers. So that's another thing that you probably uh, should know. There's gonna be some there's going to be some trees where the blossoms were not quite there, but this is the situation right now at a tree that was blooming late. All right, you can see that it is uh, past 100%. The blossoms came out, and the wind and the rain just blew the poor things right off. And this is why the cherry blossoms are, I guess, they're symbolic of life in overall because you know our lives. This is kind of deep right now. We have short lives in the whole scheme of things. The planet is what, billions of years old, the galaxy, the universe, the you know, Big Bang Theory. We're talking like a long time ago, most likely, and yeah, what do I know? But we here on, on, this, uh, on this journey, we have a very short blip in everything. Our lives are short, and by the way, we are also very delicate human beings. We know we can play football and, and wrestling and all this other stuff, but we can also leave this planet quite easily too and it, the cherry blossoms their life is short and it gives us a time to reflect on that you can see just a little bit of rain and wind blew it away when it was past its peak and it's still alive I mean the blossoms look it, it, it's quite on there the leaves are starting to pop on there but I mean it, it takes a lot to really get the the blo oh sorry just help it along there it takes a lot to get the blossoms to fall off right but when they do, that's the end of it. And, you know, in Japan, it, I think one of the reasons why we celebrate it, you know, we have the cherry blossoms in Washington, D.C., which are absolutely beautiful, too. 
but we celebrate it differently because we do have this con the, the contrast between the blossoms and our own lives. The samurai knowing that their lives are really short because they could leave us at a moment's notice in a battle. And that was something that I think every, every samurai, when they uh, had this season coming in, they didn't know if they'd be able to see another one of these Sakura uh, cherry blossom seasons. So in Japan, you know, as we hit, whoa, there's a, some wind coming now. Wow. It's actually, yeah, I'm, I'm quite wet, <laughs> but it's worth it because I think, I think that this is very important to do the end of the uh, cherry blossoms as well to give you an idea. Many of you are still kind of hopeful that the cherry blossoms are, are going to be here when you come this week or next week. And uh, I just want to show you, don't be hopeful. You know, you're lucky or you're not lucky. But as I tell you, every single season, Tokyo is not the best place to see the cherry blossoms. Neither is Kyoto for that matter, all right? So everybody who's, who's going to where all the crowds are, you're an idiot, okay? The best places are getting on a train and traveling about an hour towards the north or someplace on the countryside, and that's the best place to really catch them. You, and you still have that choice, okay? I'm probably gonna go up with Kanai. There, look at the cherry blossom petals up all on the ground here. I'm probably gonna go to Hirosaki and Aomori with Kanai. It's a 50-50 right now, it just depends on our scheduling. But uh, I'd like to take Leo up there too. I haven't been up there in about seven years since I uh, went uh, on a hitchhiking trip, which, um, but I, I'm trying to see if I have, I, I might have deleted that footage here. This is the video of the Taki Zakura one. Yeah, I did use a little bit of AI art, but I photoshopped it quite a lot to get rid of trees that I didn't want and stuff like that. Anyways, it's more stunning than any of the other pictures that I got. This is uh, the story of the uh, Miharu Taki Zakura. And if you are thinking about the cherry blossom season, go to the Only in Japan main channel, which is uh, youtube.com slash only at only in Japan. Uh, one word and uh, you'll get to the main channel where I have edited format uh, stories which are uh, really nice here and um, I, I think oh, there's the only Japan store okay sorry that's not it there oh I guess you can see the uh, as you can see if you buy the DVD sorry the blu-ray disc you can probably see the cherry blossoms as I followed the cherry blossoms up on the hitchhiking trip uh, back in the day that's uh, actually still on the store here I didn't. I really. I didn't. I didn't remember that I had this, but you could buy this uh, on the Only in Japan uh, store, so it's still on sale. I don't know. Uh, I'll, let, I'll walk around for another five minutes or so, then I'm gonna go inside. Uh, I came out here when the rain was pretty heavy. I kind of wish I'd waited, but uh, we're we're taking a look now. There's not a soul in sight, and this is another good thing. If you get a good raincoat. When it does rain, and you can be sure that it's going to rain in spring, it just always does. Uh, if you go outside and you, you're, you're cool with that and you can brave it, you're going to have all of this cherry blossoms to yourself. And the blossoms take on another kind of life. You know, they're hanging on, but there is this darkness, this feeling behind the first rain and wind after full bloom. You see the petals, uh, if they're not wet, they sometimes they'll stick to the bark in the tree. You can see them sticking to the bark there. They'll flutter and, and like a blizzard of wet, white petals. And this is the, the shot, I think, if you're, if you're looking for you know, a romantic picture, having, having that person that you love with you as the blossoms or a breeze hits and it flutters past you is such a, an amazing shot. And um, you have to do a video and, and wait for it and then take a screen capture because there's no way you'll get it with a picture unless you have like a remote control or something. Wow, they're really, look at this. The wind is, is, uh, is quite violent on these blossoms and they're so much heavier because of being in full bloom right now. I was thinking of going to Chidori Gafuchi, but the weather was just so bad. I'm, I'm not gonna go out there. I'll just come to my neighborhood. You can still see the boats going by. Empty! Oh! They still gotta run them. This is some of the tour tourist boats. This one might be better than space boat. It's got bigger windows going up and down. It's just, it's just in a, it's going probably double time to get back to Asakusa. There's nobody on the ship, on the boat, sorry. I see Michael Sasada's in the house. Thank you, Michael. 
I got your message on Discord as well. I'm looking forward to seeing Brandy. Oh my gosh! Look at this. Wow. I'm in like a little river. Don't worry, these are waterproof. But you can see it's just a lot of blossoms have accumulated here in the corner where the water is drifting. That's really sad. That's artistic, isn't it? <laughs> That's quite... Good, good to have waterproof shoes. And there she ha there you have it. Now, look, I, I, I'm telling you, like, the end of the cherry blossom season is here. It's not really the end end, okay? Here's the, here's the fine print. Some of these blossoms are late bloomers, and even on this one here, you'll see there are some that haven't fully bloomed. Now, most of the tree is done, but there's always going to be some that are, are still opening. So, this weekend, there will be festivals around Tokyo. Don't get me wrong. It's just that the full bloom is gone, meaning this is on the way out. This part of the this side of the tree it didn't get a lot of sunlight, so it's just still blooming in some parts of it, and then other parts are going to be bare. It, it's like a you know middle-aged man, <clears throat> say perhaps me, going bald on one side. Yeah, it's a little awkward. So I feel bad for this tree, but you know beauty is beauty, and and. Uh, it's more about the conversation than you know how many hairs are on the top of the head. So I never thought that uh, that was a, a big deal. Anyways, but this tree, uh, luckily, unlike you know people in their you know, guys in their fifties or some maybe a little bit younger, uh, when they lose uh, their nice hair, you know, they, nothing grows back. But on this tree, it grows back every year. So trees, you know, I'm not really feeling bad for them. <laughs> it's nature. That's a nice shot. You can see that the, the green, and if it's not the wind and the rain, it's the green uh, leaves are going to push through and that'll spell the end of them. John's words of wisdom. Nothing you can do about father time. Or is it mother nature and father time? Right? Look, you know, there's nothing you can do about Father Time or Mother Nature. They're, they're bigger than all of us. So it's always going to be your attitude towards it. You know, I had a student who was uh, 18. You know, he was, uh, and, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay. I got enough on there. But he was, uh, he was 18 and he was starting to lose his hair. And I, I felt really bad for him. And, uh, you know, the one thing I told him is, look, you know, we're both going to lose it one day. It's inevitable. In fact, we're both not going to be here one day. But that's not your approach to life. You have to look at life and, and be happy for what you do have. He was way healthier. He was in good shape. I said, look, people are going to just love the authenticity that you have. And don't worry about it. Don't use products. Just let it go. And the, the moment you do, you're going to be free. I, I don't know if that what actually happened to him. This was like 20 years ago. I, I wonder what he's doing. Ta, uh, ta, uh, Takashi was his name. Really good, really smart guy. He lived abroad. His parents uh, uh, hired, w came to the school, and uh, I, I would tutor him in English to try to keep his skills there. But I felt really bad because the kid was just 18, and he and he said he was starting to lose his hair. I don't think I think he was just being uh, a little bit dramatic. But we had that talk. Cherry blossoms, though, they come back every year. So I'm not actually sad for these. I'm sad that the season is over. I guess that it, that we're at the end of it, sort of closer to the end than the beginning. But I'm not sad at, for the trees because these trees are probably going to outlive all of us and they're going to get their, their blossoms back next year. Sharon T. writes in here, true, don't stress about it. Absolutely. Life is, life is short and, you know, the food still tastes the same. <laughs> it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. It's sad to say goodbye to hair and blossoms, but the hair isn't going to come back. Maybe the blossoms will. It is pretty though, even at the end. So, um, I'm thinking about doing a meetup next week. I'll let you know. 
Uh, it's for a main channel episode, so those that do come will get a chance to, to hang out, and uh, uh, I'll give more information in, in this weekend and, and see what's going on. Um, Brandy from Hawaii is coming. He's, she's somebody who helped me with, with an episode in Hawaii. So I'm really looking forward to uh, uh, seeing uh, some of the viewers here that are here next week and uh, hanging out a little bit in the Asakusa or Asakusa region. We haven't done a meetup in a long time. Uh, there you go. That's the end of the season right there. And uh, yeah, sad as it may be, you are here with me for a little bit of it. And uh, it uh, means that summer's coming and there's a lot of other really fun things uh, gonna be happening here in Tokyo and the rest of Japan. And you can guarantee that I'm gonna be uh, there with you. Wow, it's really, the you can see that the river is quite high from these waters. And this is where Kanai danced uh, six years ago when I introduced her to you as well. It's a beautiful place. I love getting a bento and just eating here. So with that, I will leave you as there are some birds here. There's a, this is a different variety of sakura tree. And that's another thing. There are different varieties of sakura trees that bloom at different times. So you're going to have that as well. But this year was late and quick, I think. The shortest is six days that it bloomed and then they, it, it, the weather got really warm and then it rained really fast. That was the quickest. And I don't remember when that was. I think it was about 20 years ago, maybe 2005 or six. It was like six days. It was so sad. And then um, there was one year where it was around for 14 days where we didn't get, it got full bloom and then for one week it didn't rain or wind or nothing and it just hung on. And everybody kept getting, I mean, I was, uh, I was much younger then, but everybody kept get, getting plastered underneath the trees. I remember that year because I was working with a, uh, I was working with a comp, I was in a kind of a company life. This is before I did YouTube. And people were like, when are they going to go away? We got to go out and drink. And then people will be hammering beers and stuff. And then the next night, they're still there. And they got to go out and get some more beers and, and you're just sitting underneath the trees, hammering them, doing Hanami parties. Next day, oh, there they are again. Okay, we finished work. We got to go outside and do cherry bosses because we don't know when they're going to go away. They're still here, so we got to go and celebrate them. So you hammer a bunch of beers. You kind of hung over from the next night, the last three nights. Never mind that. Got to go out there because it's Sakura season. Actually, maybe a shorter Sakura season isn't so bad. Just putting that out there. Good riddance. Health is most important. All right? Stay healthy. Never mind that. It is still really nice. That's a, I guess we have had some beautiful shots uh, today. And you can see with the lack of people, it really is something. Um, if you don't mind the little bit of rain, come on out and you can take a look uh, at the cherry blossoms. And I think it's, it's such a beautiful um, uh, sight to see the petals all on there, to see the reflections in the water. The colors are different because of the contrast. It's darker, you know. So I, I think that when the blue skies are here, when the gray skies are here, there's something special when the rains are here and the winds are here in that day. Obviously, and, and the only and the thing I like to take is I like to travel with a flashlight and I like to shine them at the blossoms at night and I get pictures of them then because they're different. There's the contrast between the black sky and the flat and the light uh, makes some incredible pictures. Um, and that's something that I think uh, you should uh, consider. I've been doing this for a long time and I've seen a lot of blossoms. It's still sad to see them go. I don't drink that much anyways. All right, everybody, matane. Thanks for hanging out for a couple of minutes. I'll see you again tomorrow. By the way, I'm gonna be doing some uh, podcasting and Q&A for Patreon supporters. So if you're a Samurai uh, supporter on our Patreon site, you're gonna get another perk coming as I take Q&A every uh, Monday. That, that's the plan. I'm gonna see what you guys all think about that. Every Monday from like uh, uh, 9.45 to 10.15 a.m. Uh, that seems like 30 minutes of, of Q&A about your trip and travel and, and about Japan, and I think that that's really cool. So stay tuned for that if you're a Samurai supporter on, on a Patreon. I appreciate it, guys. Matane!